tonight. This is also I kind of am assuming that the majority of this is going to be what we saw the first time, but uh, we'll still just kind of go through it like normal. Gotcha. That's kind of what I had assumed, and um, just wanted to make sure that way I don't get through these videos maybe maybe like faster than usual today because they're shorter than they usually are and then just try to jump into the other one because we have time for the shorter one but we'll see what goes on I guess hi this is Mike I was just calling to see if that job that you offered was still available yes a security guard I will take anything this place was huge in the 80s with the kids they shut it down years ago. The owner's just not ready to let it go yet. I will work and you will sleep. I understand. So since we saw the teaser and we know what happens, could you imagine that that's you and your daughter and you're like, yeah, you're just going to sleep. I'm going to work. And you, you're just assuming things are going to be fine. And then all of a sudden you have this creepy ass animatronic bear that's trying to eat her or whatever get out of here all you have to do even the rats know stay hidden don't let him get you just keep your eyes on the monitor welcome to freddy fazbear where fantasy and fun come to life Okay. You must be a new security guard. Can I uh, help you, officer? I gotta say, the Halloween release date is always a good date for movies like these, right? Who doesn't want to go out on Halloween to watch a scary movie instead of, I don't know... Going trick-or-treating or to, like, a Halloween party and getting candy for free, right? Like, I just don't understand why people think, or like, ah, oh, yeah, it'll work out great. Release it on Halloween. Like, why don't you just do the day after? Have you met them yet? Met who? Them. <laughs> them. Freddy's top to bottom. Uh, Hello? Jeez. They never found them. That's why the place shut down. There are ghost children possessing giant robots. Thanks for the heads up. Technically, they're animatronics. I didn't know that that was how that worked, is that it's the ghosts of children that went missing that are uh, possessing the animatronics and making them, you know, do what they're doing. But... That's kind of a neat little twist. I just had no idea. But it, it, anybody who's watched Super, Supernatural, we all know. We just circle that bitch in some salt. You're good. It's not going to get to you. Then you got to find the item that they're from or that's holding them here. And you got to destroy that thing with fire. And then you're okay. You'll be fine. Like, granted, there's more to the fire than just fire. But still. The whole series is insane. There's also time-traveling ball pits. What? <clears throat> then stay out of the gooch. Don't go there. What do they want? They want to make her like them. Bobby! Tell me how to stop them. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> Bobby, go! <laughs> He couldn't open a door. What a lame ass. He's going to get caught. He caught for sure. For sure. The wrong balls. Yeah, well, you know what? The gooch is the armpit for those balls, okay? And if we're going to call things ball pits because it's what they've always been called because it's pit bull balls, then I'm going to refer to it as a gooch. Where to? 
always get the weirdos. I still stand by what I said after the teaser. Like, it's not a movie that's for me. Just because I'm not into, like, horror movies and slasher films and stuff. But it's just not my thing. But I understand exactly why this is an appealing movie. And I see why people are excited for it. Like, it looks like it's going to be a good movie in the horror genre. And it seems like getting good movies out of the horror genre are exceeding... er, increasingly rare i guess would be a better way of phrasing it it's just it seems like good scary movies are few and far between and that that seems to be the theme with it but from what i've seen the, the like because i don't play the game or anything either but from what i've seen from five nights at freddy's this seems like it's it's fairly accurate to what goes on and they're doing it the right way instead of trying to deviate to fit some other unimportant narrative and storyline rather than the actual story that exists and they're they're going about it the right way and things seem to resemble what they should resemble so i think it'll do fairly well especially like they know their audience they've catered to this audience and made it look that way which is why uh, all the the changes and things don't tend to work out because they don't respect the material and then they disrespect the target audience because obviously people who are familiar with five nights at freddy's is your target audience and if you don't cater to them they're not going to want to see it it's the way it goes maybe i should i probably need to figure out what i'm going to play around halloween like in october for halloween i just don't know what i'd want to play but maybe I should. Maybe I should do Five Nights at Freddy's. Maybe people should suggest what we play. And that's how we should do it. Holy shit, there's 20 of them? My god. 